Hey everyone, Jeff here from Pure Tesla. Today I'm going to take you through the new automation packages available through Tesla. That's Enhanced Autopilot, which people have had previously, but then two new packages since March 1st or February 28th in the afternoon was Autopilot and Full Self Driving. There's been a lot of discussion about who gets what and how much it costs, and I'm going to break it down for you today on this video. Stay tuned. So I think it's important to go through each package and watch what each one includes so that you understand if you fall into one of them, what it would take for you to get the features that you want and how much it'll cost. So before we get to the cost part, let's just go through the features included in each package and that will give us a better understanding of where you may need to upgrade or what you might get for free based on what Tesla has stated for the early adopters of people kind of caught in the middle between these pricing adjustments. But let's start with Enhanced Autopilot. It's the package that's been around the longest and has by far been the most popular up until February 28th. Enhanced Autopilot has included Smart Steer. It's included Navigate on Autopilot where you can go from on-ramp to off-ramp with minimal interaction. It has the Summon feature which allows you to control your car from your phone which is auto park essentially. Uh, it has the self park it has TAC, which is Traffic Aware Cruise Control, which you do the steering, but it will do the acceleration and braking for you based on your current surroundings. And then it also has auto lane change. Now, each of those different components have made up for a very reasonable package, I feel, for the $5,000 it cost. Um, but up until February 28th, that's the package that was included. And February 28th brought some pretty significant changes to the automation packages available from Tesla. Now there's two packages that are in existence, kind of like before, but they've taken some pretty radical shifts. Enhanced Autopilot no longer exists. It now is Autopilot and Full Self Driving. But Full Self Driving has been given some actual features that are attributed to it. And this has been somewhat of a controversy, so to speak, for existing owners. Um, and I'll get to that later when I kind of do my little debrief myself. Uh, but let's just go through what features are included in each of those packages. So Autopilot now contains the following features. It enables your car to auto steer. It enables your car to accelerate and brake based on its surroundings. So other vehicles, pedestrians, bikes, whatever it may be. So it's kind of taking the auto steer and the uh, lane keep assist and putting it into that one package. That's about all that Autopilot offers. It's a big change from Enhanced Autopilot, which included multiple other things. Now, all those things that I didn't mention have been moved to the full self-driving package. The full self-driving package now includes the Navigate on Autopilot. It includes the summon feature, and it also includes auto park. Those features that were in existence in Enhanced Autopilot no longer exist in just standard autopilot. You will need to get the full self-driving package if you want Navigate on Autopilot, if you want auto park, and if you want summon. The other components of full self-driving that haven't been released yet were included for the first time ever. They actually wrote on their website somewhere that full self-driving features are coming and they anticipate them by later at the end of the year. Those features include the ability to recognize and respond to traffic lights and signs, which is super exciting. And then the other feature is that it would be able to do automatic driving on city streets. Historically, that's been reserved for highways, but it sounds like full self-driving package, once it's released, will be able to do the automatic driving on city streets as well. Okay, so that's a lot to take in. So I'm gonna debrief real quick. Essentially, the features that were moved from enhanced autopilot to full self-driving are navigate on autopilot, summon, and auto park. So it's basically taking the enhanced autopilot package and breaking it into two different packages, one being autopilot, which will include the ability for it to auto steer and have like the traffic aware cruise control essentially. And then the full self-driving package will include all of your other fancy stuff like navigate on autopilot, summon auto park, and then in the future, the auto drive on city streets oh, and the ability for it to recognize and respond to traffic lights and signs. Now, what does that mean for existing owners? What does that mean for new owners? If you're new to Tesla and you have not ordered your vehicle yet, you're gonna have a couple of options. The autopilot package, again, which includes the abil ability for it to auto steer and then have traffic wear cruise control is $3,000 prior to delivery and 
$4,000 after delivery. If you want the full self-driving features, it'll be $5,000 before delivery and $7,000 after delivery. So either way, I feel that as a new owner, it has made the autopilot feature very affordable. A lot of people say that all they really wanted was the traffic wear cruise control and the auto steer. That makes it a much lower barrier to entry because it has dropped from $5,000 to $3,000. Additionally, if you did want the full self-driving features, it's really not any more expensive than it was in the past because it's just taking the $5,000 package and the $3,000 package, you have an $8,000 package, and that is what the cost of full self-driving and enhanced autopilot were prior to them removing that option for full self-driving from their website back in October of 2018. But in doing that, it's left about three or four even different groups of people that are wondering what happens to their enhanced autopilot, how do they upgrade to full self-driving, and what's next for them. And I'm gonna take you through each of the four groups and I'll try and delineate what you have versus what you it would cost for you to get the upgraded package down the road. I'm gonna try and stick to things that have been officially confirmed from Tesla. And by confirmed from Tesla, I mean posted on their website or tweeted by Elon. There is one that I'm gonna include that has been verified multiple times and I've seen the service representatives emails to these people and it's been too consistent to just dismiss as not going to happen. So I am going to include this as one of the components and we'll start with that one uh, because it includes anyone that has taken delivery in 2019 or has ordered before February 28th and has yet to take delivery. Those people will be getting kind of an unusual assortment of things in my opinion. Um, but for what it's worth, if you did not have enhanced autopilot included in your order, you will now receive autopilot for free. If you did order enhanced autopilot at the time of ordering, you will now receive full self-driving for free. If you ordered enhanced autopilot and then you ordered full self-driving off menu because it has been available if you call your delivery advisor, they are able to add the full self-driving package off menu. So if you did that, and you purchase both enhanced autopilot and full self-driving, you will be enrolled into the early access program, which allows you to get software updates ahead of the rest of the fleet so that you can provide feedback to Tesla. Okay, so that leaves basically everyone else. Anyone that had taken delivery in 2018 um, and either you know purchased any combination of the following. So stick with me here as I take you through each scenario, whether you had purchased enhanced autopilot or not, I'm gonna take you through what you may have paid for it and what it costs now. So if you had not purchased Enhanced Autopilot and you took delivery of your car prior to 2019, you would be able to upgrade it with Autopilot for $2,000 and full self-driving for $3,000 for a combined total of $5,000, which is a phenomenal deal and it's something that you should definitely consider jumping on. If you took delivery prior to 2019 and you had purchased Enhanced Autopilot but not full self-driving, you could have paid one of three prices, $5,000, which is the pre-delivery price, $5,500, which is the price after a trial, or $6,000, which was the price after delivery. Now, your price to upgrade to full self-driving, should you be interested in doing that, is only $2,000. Yes, it reflects $3,000 currently in your My Account page, but that is something that Tesla is working on changing uh, and will be done in the next couple of weeks. If you had purchased it at $3,000, like the website currently states, Elon tweeted that those people will be getting a $1,000 refund uh, given that the price of the package is now $2,000 for people that took delivery prior to 2019. So if you were someone that took delivery in 2018 and opted to purchase enhanced autopilot and full self-driving, there's a wide array of amounts of money that you could have paid. It ranges anywhere from $8,000 to $11,000 depending on when you purchased each of the packages, prior delivery, after delivery, and when the prices have fluctuated. Well, all that's to say is that if you were one of those people that purchased both prior to this pricing change, you will be enrolled in the early access program uh, that allows you to get software updates ahead of the rest of the fleet and provide feedback back to Tesla. That is the way in which they're uh, deciding to accommodate the people that were early adopters and give you a little bit of something for the fact that you upgraded early. For someone like me, I took delivery in November of 2018. I had purchased enhanced autopilot, but not full self-driving. Um, and I did upgrade 
to the full self-driving package for the $2,000. I did pay the $3,000, but I have gotten confirmation that I'll be getting $1,000 back. I think it's a very fair uh, price to be able to put that to it. I was considering it even, uh, you know, I was worried that I saw the $7,000 price tag for the people that take delivery um, and then want it later after the current pricing change. I would have been even content with that going back down to five, but two is phenomenal. And I'll take that without a, without question. So there's lots to be said here. There's been tons of posts around the internet about people either feeling that, you know, that's the price you pay for being an early adopter or, uh, it's, you know, a total outrage. And I'm not going to get into the political weeds with that. Um, it's, this was merely meant to be an, a factual and informational type video that gives you the breakdown of what each of the packages include and how, how much they are in order for you to upgrade to them. You know, you can share your thoughts in the comments below, but certainly you know, let's be respectful to everyone. Uh, you know, there are going to be different opinions about the way in which people feel about these pricing changes. And all I ask is that people be kind to everyone else's decisions. Ultimately, your decision is your decision about what makes you happy with regards to this vehicle. And if people are content with what Tesla has done to accommodate, I think that it's entirely fair for them to be able to feel that way. And I also feel that if people are upset about it, they should be able to express themselves in a very civil way, but also get their point across. So I'd love to hear from you where your head's at, what your plans are, if you are you know, either neither enhanced autopilot or full self-driving package owners, where you're gonna go with that. Um, and if you are one or both of the others, where you feel about um, how this has shaken out over the past couple of days. But I wanted to get you that information. If you have questions about what I've shared today, certainly feel free to reach out to me in the comments or on Twitter at Pure Tesla. Mm -hmm. Happy to respond and give you any information that I can. So until next time, hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you on the next video.